champs Élysées, au champs Élysées, au soleil, sous la pluie, à midi ou à minuit, il y a tout ce que vous voulez au champs Élysées. Hey everybody, it's Jill. So I know it's a couple of days late, but I wanted to share with you my November favorites, kind of my go-to things for the month of November. I do have a lot, so I just want to dive right in. I'm going to start out first with makeup products. Um, so I have been using the same primer all month because I did finish the, what was it? Well, the other one that I was using. This is the Laura Geller Tinted Under Makeup Primer, and this is in Champagne. I really like this. It gives you kind of a luminous glow a little bit. I don't know, I guess. And in the month of November, December, well, pretty much all year round. I'm really pale, so I like that extra hint or extra touch of glow. Uh, the next thing that's one of my favorites to set my foundation was the Laura Geller. I think this is the Balance and Brighten Foundation with SPF 15. That's what the back looks like. Whoops, that is upside down. So I really enjoy this. I do usually use a liquid foundation, but that's what I use to set it. And then what I use to set all of that is this um, When Pomegranate Replenishing Treatment Mist. Usually if I don't use something like this, my makeup will look a little bit um, cakey or just, I don't know, looks, I don't know, looks weird throughout the day. But I feel like using this When really helps it not look cakey I guess and it's also really great for my hair as well I've been using that on my ends really it's like my second day freshen up go-to product um, for highlighter I've really been enjoying this Mary Luminizer and let's see what this looks like and that's what it looks like in the package um, I got picked this up on Hope Look a couple of maybe two months ago or so over the summer or over the fall and I've really been enjoying that it's usually $24 I would not pay that I spent about $12 which is still a lot but I really do enjoy it and then my go-to blush for pretty much the whole month of November has been MAC in spring sheen and this is the only MAC blush that I own it's really kind of a I don't know I guess a dark berry color I'm not really sure how to describe this but I really like it it's a lot darker than I what I normally wear but I feel like in the fall and winter months I can get away with that and my go-to bronzer has actually been this little sample size of NARS Laguna this is what that looks like I am really 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 fair this is, I thought this is going to be really dark for me but I find that I don't know I just I love it it's great for contouring and also just a great like I usually bronze up here and then contour so I really enjoyed that and then my go-to eyeshadow has been my new naked palette I think I just used this because I've heard so much about it there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube I've wanted it for so long and I've seen so many other people use it so I had to use it so that's what this looks like I'm sure you've seen this Let's see, the ones that I've used a lot were Half Baked and Smog together. These two, it's Half Baked and Smog. All right, and then what I used, the brush that I used for those is actually the Crease Brush from Target. It looks kind of like this. I feel like this has been my new go-to brush. I do everything with it. I pat my lid eyeshadow, my crease eyeshadow, everything. I just go from lightest to darkest colors and it works great. Um, let's see, a, I guess we'll start, since we're talking about brushes, lead into my new favorite brush cleanser. Or it's the, the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. And it looks like this. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but it is awesome. I picked it up half price. I had a coupon, 50% off. It was about $4. I really enjoy this for deep cleaning brushes. I hate cleaning my brushes. So usually every time I do, it's a deep clean, which is bad, but I don't, have, I don't really have any problems. So 
I guess I'm just I've just lucked out and the next thing I want to talk about are I guess my hands so I have this I actually just picked this up maybe last week or so but I'm really enjoying the scent and the way it makes my hands feel I need a lot of extra moisture especially this time of year because it is really cold and dry uh, but this is from the body shop it's the almond hand and nail cream it looks like this and they were having a sale um, 3 4 30 I picked that up then I don't think I would have paid the full price I think the full price is usually about $15 I don't think I would have paid that for it but um, 10 is a little bit high but I had a lot of coupons and there's a lot of deals going on so I feel like it was it was justifiable and next thing I want to talk about since we're on hands and nails is my favorite nail polish duo of the month I really have enjoyed uh, this Zoya nail polish and I think it's Elisa this is in the was in the fall collection they have a new collection out now but I'm sure you can still find this at Ulta or even online I know there's always having a lot of flash sales right now so you might want to check out their Facebook page and see if you can get on the bandwagon for one of those and then what I've enjoyed over it is actually a, a Milani nail color so this is Milani in Ruby Jewels oh, what, what, what? Are you talking to me? You're gonna have to redo that. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> and what I've been using to kind of, I guess my new trick that I've learned to clean up my nails because I am really not an artist by anyone's measurements is this acetone, Beauty Secrets Acetone. I picked this up at Sally's Beauty. I think it was like $3 or no, it was less than that. I think it was like $1.50 or $2. A lot of people have problems with this drying their cuticles out. I don't have that problem. I guess it's just, I don't really have that problem because of this. Everything, I usually do have problems with that though. And when I, the brush that I use is this e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. It was just a dollar at Target. So if it gets destroyed, my feelings will not be hurt. And the next thing I want to talk about is hair a new favorite hair care product I've used this twice this month and it's the when Remoist hydrating hair mask and the flavor that I have is pomegranate I think I've mentioned this before I usually just do a couple of scoops in my hair after I have washed my hair or cleansed my hair so I'll put two three handfuls and I will wrap it up with this uh, turby twist I did pick it up well, I've had this one. I picked up a couple of extra ones because I wanted to try. I like this Chirby Twist. I don't know. It's a new favorite. So I picked one up with uh, purple and white polka dots and cupcakes. I mean, come on. And they're about going free at CVS, so I picked it up. And the last thing that is kind of more of a random favorite is, well, our Christmas videos. Yeah, I know I'm talking about November. I actually started watching Christmas videos like November 1st. Don't judge me. I think it was probably even before that, even for Halloween. I know that my Christmas decorations were up by the first weekend in November. So November 3rd or 4th. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Christmas is my favorite season. And my favorite movie, I think now is the Grinch That Stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey edition. It used to be Elf, but I think The Grinch has taken over. I think I did go see The Grinch at the Landmark Theater here in Richmond. It was a musical. I really, in, I really enjoyed it. I went to go see it with one of my friends um, that I've known for a long time, and we just had a good time. Uh, so anyways, those are my favorites. If you will leave maybe your favorites below and the uh, in the comment section I would love to hear them if you have any questions about my favorites feel free to ask and I will see you in my next video